Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in the last couple episodes, we've been going through setting up a pretty simple membership site. And in the last episode, we were working inside of the membership area. And this is the page where you set up all your sections and your lessons. And there's one thing I wanted to show you before we moved into opening up the lesson editor. And that is when you set up a new lesson, if you come down here to the bottom and you're not, not when you clone it, and not when you click on the little pencil icon and go in to it to edit the lesson, but only when you create the lesson itself. When you come down to the bottom, you can choose a page template that they have preset for you. So let's just click on this. Let's go here. We're going to make this down here at the last section, and then we're going to call this template. And that's going to come in at the bottom, and then let's click on the second one, and we'll put that in the same thing. We will call this template two, and we'll pick the second of the two templates, just so we can go in and take a look at what they look like. But the truth is, I never use these templates. I just start from a blank page, but that's where we'll go to in a second. Let me just show you the two templates that you do have available inside of ClickFunnels. So let's open up the editor. And once you get in, here's what one of the templates looks like. We have a section at the top inside of it, a row and a little bit of text. And then over here on the left in the next row, we have, well, we have another section. We have three rows then. And inside of each one of these rows, we got a couple of uh, text elements. We got a divider. We have a button that uh, download now. So apparently whatever this would be about, you'd have like a PDF or something like that that somebody could download. Or you could even have them click on it and go off site to some other training if you really wanted to. And then we just have what I'm assuming is just an image here. Let me see. I don't think it's a video pop up. Yeah, it's just an image. So here's a pretty basic little template that you could use if your content would happen to fit into this type of a template. So now let's just leave here and let's go take a look at what template number two looks like. So template number two, uh, more of the kind of design that I would normally use. So again, we have a section at the top and we got a little bit of a grayed out background, a couple of text elements. We then have a video element and I'll just click on that just for a second to open that up. And again, you can put in any type of video you want, normally YouTube video, but it could be Wistia or Vimeo or whatever you would like in there. And then again, we have another section at the bottom. And then at the bottom down here, we have a two column row with a bit of data in there as well. So again, if your content fits into this type of a format, then you could easily use this template. And like I said, what I normally do is usually something very similar to this. So let's pop out of here and let's click on leave. And then let's go back into my CF Ninja Hack site itself. Because I just want to show you a couple pages in here. Like I said, most of the time I do something pretty simple like this. A headline, a video, some bullet points, and maybe some text below it. And then I have a plugin I wrote for a previous next lesson. So let's just go back to the previous lesson and show you something where I put in a little bit of extra hacking into this one, where I have four different video lessons from Russell about Funnel University. And so if you click on one of these images, it pops up the video. And then when you click on the next image, it closes the first video and opens up the next one and etc. as we scroll down the page. So that was a kind of cool little trick I decided to put in there. And then we have another one here, again, some videos from Russell. In the intro section, I have a couple of different things with videos from Russell. And then after that, all the training is stuff that I've done. But what I did here is I did actually a four column row inside of the editor, which it's not an easy thing to do, but it can be done. And there's a special little trick you need on that. But so I did the four column row. And as you click on the next video, this video becomes colorized and this one became gray. So this was color. And then each one, as you click on it, it becomes colorized and the other ones become grayed out. And as you see down here at the bottom, the title, the video itself, and the content below it will change out. So you have, 
you know, step one, step two, step three, all the way down the page. But if you click on video number two, that's all totally different content as you scroll down and it changes out every time you click on the image. But that again is a much, much higher level kind of a hack and we won't be going into anything nearly that elaborate in this training today. So now let's go back into the funnel that we're building and let's go find ourselves a new lesson and we're gonna click on open editor and what you're gonna see is a completely blank template to start with. And so here we are with our template. So just like we've done before, we're gonna start off by adding in a new section and we're gonna say this is a full width section. And then within this section, we are going to put in a one column row. And then as always, we're gonna need some sort of a headline at the top. And below that headline, we're gonna put in a video. Because a lot of what you're going to be doing, a lot of your content is going to be videos. It could be links to PDFs or other content. It could be actually just the content on the page. But a lot of times there's going to be videos. So let's just kind of stick with this theme. Now let's say after this we want, um, well actually let's just put a little subheadline below it. Let's just throw in a subheadline below it. Okay, so now let's add in another section at the bottom. We'll hit the plus and we'll come in and we'll say we're just going to do a full width section again. So we'll drag that in there. And then let's just say, just to make things different, let's uh, to break things up a little bit, let's put a different background color in there. So let's just grab this gray color and then let's pull this down. So it's just a very light contrast. Let's just put it at about 20. And then on the inside of that, let's come in. We're going to add a new row. And we're going to make that a one column row. And for, for the row then, let's make that background color white. So we'll come back in and make that white so that way we can put black text inside of it. So that's now white. And now inside of there, let's see what we want. Let's start off with another subheadline element. And this one here, let us left justify that. And let's make it bold. And then below that element, I want to put in, uh, let's, let's start off with, let's put in a bullet list. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, we got our bullet list. Let's increase the font size on this a little bit. So the font size is at 15. Well, that's way too big. Let's just say... Let's bring it up to 18. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so now we got a font size of 18. And so you can have whatever you want in here, um, you know, featured links, uh, different articles to send them to, things like that. And then below that, let's just put in a paragraph. So again, you can have more information that you're training them about here. Let me just find one here. Let's go watch this first. In here, didn't really have any text, just had an extra image down here at the bottom. Let's go into account details, custom domains. Okay, inside of here, so we have the headline, the video, featured links, we got different links, we have some notes below it. And then again, I just repeated the process as I went down the page with different content. Let me see what else we had here. Um, outgoing SMTP, I think I had that, so I actually had a note above it here and how to set up your SMTP, whether or not you have Actionetics. And so you can see with each one, you just kind of fill it out a little bit differently and put in whatever content that you need. So let's go back to where we were working in here. And let's say now down at the bottom here, because I saw something on one of the templates I want to try out. Let's give this a full width and we'll pull this down to the bottom for our new section. And inside of that new section, we're gonna put in a row and I wanna put in a two column row. And then in our two column row, in our first element, I just want to put in, let's see here, let's put a bullet list in there as well. And, but we're gonna make that much smaller. Let's, well, I mean, let's just drop this down to, let's say 14. I just wanna see if this is gonna work. And then in our second element, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing. We'll just put in a bullet list there as well. And we will reduce that down to 14 as well. 
And now what this is, is it's a two column row, but what they are is they're sitting one on top of each other. And in that other template, they were setting uh, side by each, as somebody said to me one day, they were sitting side by side. And I was wondering how that could be done. Like I said, I know a trick of how to do it, but I don't think I could do it with this the way it is. So let's save this. Let's exit out of here. And what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to sign up for this site. So let's create a new tab. Let's grab our secret sign up URL. Let's hit enter to put it in. And then once we get in here, we're going to create ourselves an account. Okay, this is funny. I was trying to preview the page and I couldn't get it to work and I was scratching my head and I finally figured it out. I haven't built the page in the page editor yet, so there's no way it can dis display the page for me because it doesn't have anything in there to display. So I'm not going to be able to display it right now. We're going to open it back up in the editor once we build the page editor once we build the page itself then we'll be able to see what the lessons look like but for right now let's just go back into the lesson to see if there's anything else we want to do in here but for right now it's pretty much done like i said i like to keep it pretty simple inside of the content area just simply because there's not really a whole lot of room and then when you go to mobile it squishes it down even more so although i did the where is it here now where i did the why click funnels with the four columns across of course when you go into mobile view that's going to stack them one on top of each other and then all the other content below it so it starts getting pretty long on a mobile device when you start going across different columns and whatnot so i mean i did this just to prove to myself that i could do it but for the most part, you're not going to be building a whole lot of columns inside the editor for the lessons. So let's uh, go back out of here because I think we have covered everything we needed to do for the lesson editor itself. And so uh, I'm going to end this video right now. And in the next video, we're going to look at the page editor. And then we're going to look at what we need to do as far as restricting access so that people can't come in and rip your stuff off or be able to see stuff that they have not paid for or you haven't granted access for. So until the next video, have a great day.